Hi all, I'm SM Jarif Dhamid, Senior in Chemical Engineering and we are part of the video project Safety in Cooking in the Process Safety class consisting of Parto, Ahmed, Claire, Hung and myself. How often have you hurt yourself while cooking in the kitchen? While well, cooking is an essential part of our lives which keep us healthy, satiated and active. But you have, you must have hurt yourself, right? Because we may, many of us do not know the safety procedures that should be going on in the kitchen. Well, in this video project, you are lucky enough to know that we will not only talk about the techniques to remain safe, but also more effective methods to be healthy and stay protected in the kitchen. In this video, in the following presentations, Ahmed and Partu will talk about how to chop onions safely. Claire will be talking about how to keep the kitchen disinfected to keep yourself safe. Han will talk about to treat and cook raw kitchen without spreading salmonella bacteria. Stay tuned and hope you enjoy as you watch the presentations ahead. Thank you. Ahmed, what are you doing? Cooking some pasta, man. How could you cook in a place like this? It's a health hazard. How is it a health hazard? Look at this. Come on, you cook. Look at this. Go look at this. Right here. Do you want your pasta or not? I want it. I want it. Get out of my kitchen. You don't get me dead. What's up, guys? Today, I'm going to show you how to treat and cook raw chicken properly without spreading salmonella. First off, you need to have the disposable gloves on, uh, the ones that are latex free, uh, powder free and food safe. Uh, second off, uh, you need to clean your equipment properly, uh, which is your knife, your cutting board. Uh, I'm just gonna shut, cut this piece of fat out real quick. And once you're done with that, make sure you've disposed your gloves properly in the trash and just wash your hands with soap for at least about 20 to 30 seconds. In order to see if the chicken is fully cooked, we have to check the internal temperature of the chicken, which it has to be over 160 degrees Fahrenheit, according to the FDA. Um, as you can see, this one is ready to go. So after you're done cooking and putting away all your food and you're ready to start cleaning the kitchen, so you can either choose to clean your dishes with basic dish soap in the sink or you could use your dishwasher, place the dishes in the dishwasher and use some sort of dishwasher fluid or powder. The next thing you want to do is to clean the countertops. You can use a degreaser or an all-purpose cleaner to clean off the particles, food particles and bacteria on the countertop to make sure it's safe to eat on again. Lastly, you want to sweep up any crumbs that may have dropped while you were cooking and preparing your meal. And then after sweeping, you would want to make sure you mop up to disinfect the floor. And after that, your kitchen is all set to cook again. Now here's how a real master of cooking safety does it. And there you have it. Doesn't this just look spectacular? I swear, people these days, it should be common sense that you should have a clean environment before you cook. You know what? I should make my own pasta. And to do that, I might as well get some onions out from the back. Now, for proper cutting instruction, eh, it should be good enough. Now, what you gotta do here is to properly unravel the onion. You must fashion it in such a spindling way. Hey! What are you doing, man? What do you mean? I'm cutting an onion! That's not how you cut an onion! You're what using you... the wrong knife! That's a safety hazard. First of all, you gotta use the right knife for the trade. And not just that, this knife is completely dull. Here, let me show you. Come back and let the master chef show you what to do. Alright, first of all, you need something long and sharp, right? This is a nice long blade, it's sharp, and the only reason why you'll need something that's not dull is because it's actually more dangerous and more prone to cutting yourself than you to use a dull blade than it is to use a sharper blade. And the right way to cut an onion is you need to use the knuckle technique. Three knuckles aimed like this, put a pressure point, and along the side of your knuckle, just let the blade literally cut and do the work right there. And you go on, Put your fingers back and just do it again. 
I believe you all enjoy through the videos in this project and hope you learned about safety as being a valuable component in our daily lives. We believe that you are going to ensure safety in your kitchen areas and prevent any sort of injuries moving ahead in your life. Thank you for staying tuned with this and hope you liked our video project. Thank you so much.